Okay, so Ambassador uh, Mayo, who is uh, my senior, will please uh, take this and then to try and invite uh, the CS. Thank you very much, Big Ted. Mweshimiwa Waziri, Dr. Alfred Mutua, fellow Kenyans, ladies and gentlemen, I'm young. I'm a Kiswahili player, I'm a Shida Kido. Waziri, I was seeing when we were singing in the national anthem that the first stanza responses were very high. Ilipofika second, wengine wakaanza sasa kufikiria differently. When doing the third stanza, there are quite a good number that um, were in the middle. Time doesn't allow me to go that direction, but let us sing our national anthem so that our children can also learn and hear from it. I'll be brief because first apologize for the long delay. It was not intentional. It's just because Waziri had a very long flight, 15 hours and another two hours flight. And here he is, he has not even <laughs> taken any time to change. But credit goes where it should be. Let me acknowledge uh, Mr. David Kinyanjui. David Kinyanjui is a friend of Waziri. He's the one actually Waziri spoke to. And the night before yesterday, they agreed to have this session. Waziri was saying he'll be in town. You would mind, we would be glad to have a conversation with the Kenyans, even if it is at a very short notice. And so play, don't blame me much. He didn't know the confirmation was until just Monday night. So he tried yesterday to reach out to you through the Northwest and other contacts. And I'm happy, Waziri, that they have turned out in large numbers with some of them having a notice of less than 10 hours. You'd like to hear Waziri. This is his first visit to the United States as the Minister of Kipengereza, the Cabinet Secretary, Ministry of Foreign and Diaspora Affairs. He was in the U.S. in September, but that was for the U.N. General Assembly. So it is an honor and privilege for Waziri to start his meetings, engagements in the U.S. from Seattle itself. I was here in December, but in the middle of COVID. Ambassador Gashiro was also here a few months ago for the Quito function. What they will tell you and reiterate is the distance. Distance from LA and distance from DC, particularly on consular matters relating to e-passport renewal and ID and other related matters. So the request has been for consideration, I know you have them, for a consulate in Seattle to be able to address the concerns and issues for the, the Kenyan population here. Waziri, this is the home of Microsoft, the home for Google, the home for Amazon, the home for Boeing, at Starbucks, Ilianza, Azote, Hapa. And so, Yes, in terms of distribution, as I was briefing you, this is the fifth in terms of what? Distribution of Kenyans in the U.S. as per the official statistics of the U.S. government based on 2019 statistics. Starting, if you give me just half a minute, with the Texas having the largest number projected at that time to be 20,000, followed by Minnesota, 14,000. The third one is 11,000, California. The fourth one is Massachusetts, 8,000, and Washington State comes with 7,800, followed by Maryland with 7,600, and then Georgia 6. Those are, those are the official statistics. Those are the official statistics of the U.S. government as for those who registered as Kenyans. So, as I conclude, we have this pressing issue for services being closer to the people and affordable because it takes 21 hours to drive from here to LA, two hours flight to LA, five hours flight to Washington DC and it's an expensive affair. Kwa hivyo, bila kupoteza wakati, 
ombi langu mheshimiwa waziri is for you to address your people some of the summaries you already getting in the course of your remarks you will have answered most of them but we have a patriotic group of Kenyans that are able to meet together whether there are challenges or opportunities even when there are deaths here Kenyans always rally together to be able to address issues of those concerned but let me not preempt much of what Waziri will be talking about lakini thank you thank you very much for responding i know some of you are going on duty in the next 10 to 30 minutes lakini musikie Waziri the rest we can be able to take from that end Last but not least, uh, my two colleagues, Ted, who is new here, the Consul General in LA, and Ambassador Gajero, the Deputy Chief of Mission based in DC. Asante ni sana na mungu wa bariki. Mwishimu wa zeni.